Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I can't keep up with everything. Things are moving so fast, pointing to the soon rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ and the commencement of Daniel's 70th week, the time of Jacob's trouble, the seven-year tribulation period. If you've been watching my videos, recently I just did a video on King Charles and how his coronation is supposed to happen uh, this coming Saturday, May 6th. And I tried to connect the dots with you guys on how King Charles is connected to the whole Great Reset Agenda, which is basically, again, where they want to reset the entire world to talk about a new world order. And now he's a huge pusher of and promoter of Agenda 2030, how they want to have a one world government in place uh, by the year 2030. But they've recently come out and said that they want to accelerate Agenda 2030. And here we go. I wanted to share this with you today. I wanted to connect the dots even more, folks, so you can see where this is going. This is recently in from the Gateway Pundit. King Charles and the globalists set meeting for September, this September 2023, to plot how to accelerate the goals of the UN Agenda 2030 and the complete digitization of humanity. Listen to this, folks. The World Economic Forum and United Nations are so concerned that the goals of Agenda 2030, Sustainable Development, and the Great Reset are in jeopardy and not being fulfilled by the appointed date that they have called for a summit in September, this September of 2023, to discuss how they can kickstart their stalled totalitarian agenda. I mean, folks, you can't make this stuff up. The United Nations is involved in this. You have the United Nations, King Charles, Klaus Schwab, which is the executive chairman of the World Economic Forum. You're also going to have Yuval Noah Harari and other world leaders, globalists and elite, that will be in attendance at this coming summit, which is going to be held this September 2023. Connect the dots. They're all connected, folks. The actors, again, just before the play occurs, the actors, the actresses, the, uh, the props, they're all getting put in position for the final act. The empire of the Antichrist is coming, folks. The rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ will occur before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period begins. However, we are continuing to see all these players aligning together just like this summit that's going to be coming in September. Again, you're going to have King Charles, the United Nations, Klaus Schwab, Klaus Schwab, the executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, Yuval Noah Harari, and other globalist world leaders and elite all gathering together this September 2023 to talk about how they're going to accelerate the implementation of Agenda 2030. And when you look at the Great Reset Agenda and Agenda 2030, folks, this has tribulation written all over it. And that's where this is all headed, folks. And if we see the actors, the actresses, the props continuing to all be put in position for the final act, for the coming empire of the Antichrist, and we know that the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ needs to occur before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period begin, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians 
chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.